this idea for Scott and Lucy to break up, is this something that D.V. has implanted in your head? Because I can't come up with another explanation for such a crazy idea. Hear me out. It's a logical plan, given the circumstances. Logical? Wait a minute. Logical for you and her to get back together? Okay, wait, 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 wait. I don't think that's quite what you meant, is it? Ladies, come on, let the guy finish. <sighs> if Lucy and Scott break up... That's what Bordiza wants. Then D.V. will think he succeeded in hurting Scott. Which makes sense now that he would back off, maybe just enough, for us to find his vulnerabilities. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. You know, uh, listen, uh, uh, being away from the kids, you know, separated from Christine and Serena, is painful enough. I don't think I want to go volunteering for creating more pain. Yeah, you know what? For once, I agree with Lucy. This is nuts. Look, you know, Kevin, he's got, got a point, a theory here. However, I, I can't see Bordiso buying this. No, I don't think he'd buy it, not in a million years. Hold it, let's not sell ourselves short. We can make this convincing. I don't like the sound of that. You know, Doc, Bordiso is as smart as he is sick in the head, and he has done some pretty horrible things to try and break us up lately. None of which have worked. Kevin, now, come on, this is going to be hard all the way around, you know? But we have an ace. D.V. doesn't realize that we've made the connection between what's been happening to even me to what's been happening with you two. So you want Scott and Lucy to break up and you and Lucy to get back together. Right. Just, just to make it look really real, right? Right. Wait a minute. The thing that you haven't said, but which is clearly implied to me, is that you and I have to break up, too. Are you willing to do that, Kevin? I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get to Bordiso. Wait a minute. What about me? Am I willing to do this? And right now, I just really don't like this idea. Okay, I, you know, I, I hate to even say this, but I think we have to listen to Eve for a minute. No offense, Doc. But let's just consider what's at stake. Eve needs to find out if her son is alive or dead. And you need to make sure that D.V. can't hurt your family. Now, if anyone has a better idea on how to accomplish those two goals, please, put it on the table. Julie and I have a history, okay? We have a trust that's growing stronger. She should hear that you know Christine is her daughter from the two of us. Now, your face tells me that your mind is full of potential consequences if this doesn't go your way. If she finds out that I told you about her baby, she's going to see it as a betrayal. Which is why it's best for her to tell me herself, Chris. It's not going to do any good for you to come clean with all of this now. But Julie, she's still going to have questions. Like, how long have you known? And why didn't you tell her sooner? You have a point. You know, it's really best that we keep our hands clean here. Yeah, and keep Julie happy. Happy, sane, and eventually reunited with her daughter. <sighs> well. Well, in celebration. I never did get a bachelor party. Does this mean I should be jumping out of the cake? Oh, now that I'd like to see. I'll go change into my bikini. It's my day off. Well, it's an expensive way to celebrate a day off. Well, that's not the only reason I'm celebrating. I mean, haven't you heard? Oh, yeah, I'm a married man now. Julie Devlin is now Julie Devlin Ramsey. Of course, I'm sure she'll appreciate it if you just call her Mrs. Ramsey. I should cover it with interest. I'm beginning to wonder if you were ever going to pay me back. Oh, you let me get away with it. How about a beer? You got it. So, Frank. 
Aren't you going to buy me a beer? Not if you were dying in the desert. Oh. Now, don't tell me you're jealous I married your ex-girlfriend. Oh, that's the best news I've heard all day. Here's to hoping she stabs you in your sleep on your honeymoon. Well, I can see persuading Julie's former friends that she's no longer a threat to society is going to take some work. Knock yourself out. Rachel Locke, Frank Scanlon of the Poor Charles Scanlons. Frank's sort of the black sheep of the family. It's nice to meet you. Julie's talked a lot about you. I'm her new therapist. My sympathies. <laughs> so what's it going to take to convince you? That Julie's reformed? Now, don't waste your time. She committed those murders, period, into story. I bet most women look in those eyes of yours and believe every word you say. But I've got this funny habit of forming my own opinions, and I really think she's innocent. Form away, Doctor. Sooner or later, that opinion of yours is going to give you some big headaches. No one is going to be convinced that Kevin would console Lucy after she broke up with Scott. Evie, you know, despite what you'd like to imagine, it's not that big of a stretch. Now, wait, is this why you don't like the plan deep oh, down? Oh, that Kevin is still attracted to you, Lucy, is a non-issue. Excuse me, it still is in the realm of possibility. Hey, wait, what, 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 what are you talking about? Like, can we just get back to our respective corners here? We've all been down a long road to get to where we are with each other. We what? have, and I'm very happy to keep things the way they are. Too much could go wrong here. She's right. This whole thing is tricky. It's too big a step here, Kevin. Yes, it is tricky. It's drastic. But haven't you ever been willing to do whatever has to be done? Well, yes. When Vordizo's involved, I'll do what it takes. Well, just the way we're acting at the prospect of breaking up bodes well for us to convince D.V. that this is the real thing. Uh, okay, you know what? You're right. You're right, because we all look at us. We're pretty sure God. Which can only play in our favor. But it's not as if it's actually happening. Yeah, but see... Bordizo has got eyes everywhere, you know, and it, remember, we tried to pull this on Rex Stanton as well. What is the, your point? My point is that we got to be on this 24 hours a day, which is involving Serena and the kids. Oh, and, uh, whoa, Serena, God, she is counting on us so much getting married. I could not tell this to that little face and break her heart. Can I make a suggestion? Yeah. Keep Serena and Christina hidden. For their own sake. No, 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 no. I hate this now. I, I hate this because I hate lying to Serena. You know that. And, and I hate the idea of prolonging this terrible separation. Well, Lucy, we can't bring the kids back as long as Bordizo's a threat. Oh, then we just have to come up with some other thing to do, okay? Think about Christina's adoption. That would never go through if we do this. Now, that is the best argument against this so far. Social services wouldn't like it. Wouldn't like it? They would rip up our application to get Christina before we could even say undercover covert operation or anything. And, and what? That we break up, I get back with him, and they still are going to think we're fit parents? I don't think so. Just wait just a second. Maybe we'll just get looking for him. No, no, I, I'm not getting ahead of myself. I don't want to do this, OK? I hate this idea, and I'm not going to do it. I am not going to pay this price. It's too high, Scott. I am not going to lose my baby over this. No. Isn't there somewhere else you could be instead of hanging around here reminding Mom you quit on her? Mom doesn't mind me coming here. She even offered me my old job back. Which I'm sure you turned down. Because working here would mean sacrifice. Doing something for someone other than yourself, Frank. Get out of my face. I am not in the mood for your preaching today. Are you in the mood to be knocked off your bar stool? Or you could just thank me for saving Neil's life. Now, G.H. certainly has some qualified applicants for the chief resident position. Now, not just the two of you, but I understand Dr. Lambert and Dr. Scanlon may also apply for the job. You know, I'm, I'm surprised that you have interest in this. Well, Gail asked me to take her place on the review committee. She thought there might be a conflict of interest since Karen has applied for the position. Well, no chance of that now. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, made the uh, best resident win, huh? Thank you. Thanks. Uh -huh. So, what did Dr. Locke have to say? Well, she was just letting us know that she's helping choose the chief resident. Oh, almost forgot about that. Get out. You're probably thinking of nothing else. It did cross my mind you and I have enough to deal with without going head to head over a job. Well, don't expect me to back down. Well, at least you two will have each other when you lose. Don't sweat it, buddy. You're not going to win. He's right, because I am. Oh, 
Mm. Looks like we have a race. Mm -hmm. All righty then. So it looks like your fellow residents are gearing up to do battle over the chief resident position. Well, let them duke it out. Eve Lambert has it locked up. She already won the quarter main award. Her work is top notch. My money's on Karen Wexler. No, Karen doesn't have it in her. You want to bet? You know, helping Scott Baldwin's daughter get a job can only be useful to us. Beneficial, especially when Julie wants her baby back. You never quit, do you? Next is getting on Frank Scanlon's good side. Oh, that's a tough one, because uh, Frankenstein doesn't have a good side. I've, well, check that. He actually did one thing right. He fathered Christina. You yeah, figured that one out, did you? Yeah, I did, and unfortunately, I think he's going to find out soon enough. And I don't want that to be an obstacle when Julie does claim Christina. But, I don't know, look at him. Handsome, young, single. He probably doesn't even want to be strapped down by a baby. Well, you're wrong there. The other admirable thing about Frank is that uh, he loves children. He coaches a little league. Even adopted a kid. Hmm. That could be a problem then. Well, we're just gonna have to find a way to deal with any conflicts that might come up. You're really committed to Julie's case, aren't you? I hope I've proven that. <laughs> I just still don't know why. You're a doctor. You love succeeding. So do I. I can't argue with that. <laughs> Listen, I, uh, I wake up every single morning, and the first thing that pops in my head is I wonder, is this it? Is this the morning that Christina's real mom is going to show up and want her back? Well, that's hard enough. And now to think about intentionally jeopardizing our adoption of her, I don't know. Lucy, when it comes to Bordiso, come on, we got to explore all the options. The op... What you're saying, in other words, then we could lose our whole family. Well, all, all these choices stink. What if we could ensure that Christina's adoption isn't at risk? OK, I'm listening. How? A little help from friends in high places. Are you talking about Mac? If I could convince him that we have a legitimate plan to stop Ordiso, he would make a few calls to social services. If Mac can call social services and do something, then OK. Then I'll do it. I'm in. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you really think that you can convince Mac to go along with your plan? I'm sure I can. Bordiso's going to be the tough one. Yeah, well, you know, getting him to think that Lucy and I would ever break up is going to be a lot of work. The man has seen how close you and Lucy are. Right, so don't you think if this all of a sudden happens, a, a sudden change is going to make him very, very suspicious? I never said it would be easy. But it's sure going to be satisfying. Dimitri left behind family, friends, and a loving wife. If Dimitri is gone, then I hold you responsible. Will his final act tear his family apart? Say it, you coward. You're not a healer, Alex. You're a death sentence. I've lost my husband. And I lost my brother. It's your fault. All my children, ABC Daytime. Well... I'm on my way back to impress the staff members who choose the new chief resident. <laughs> Happy hunting. Thank you. <laughs> See you later. Ah. You know, he just might win. You really want this position, don't you? Be kind of cool. Well, I could drop out if you wanted that much. You think you'd beat me if you stayed in the race? Well, word around the hospital is that, uh, you know, I have the inside track. <laughs> word you've been spreading. Come on, you know I'm the best man for the job. Maybe, but I'm the best, period. You're right, you are the best. You've been so supportive of Neil and Courtney and I having another baby. I would drop out for you. I know you would. But how much fun would that be? I want to beat you fair and square. Okay, if that's the case, you care to make a little wager? Love to. How much? Well, I was thinking more along the lines of, like, uh, services to be rendered. Oh, like, um, you doing my laundry if I win. Or you doing mine if I do. Well, I'm definitely gonna win, because I have a list of stuff I can't wait for you to do. 
it can't be longer than the one I'm gonna make. Oh, I'll shake on it. Could I get a cup of coffee to go, please? Pulling some long hours? You'll be racking up years of OT trying to rehabilitate Julie. Well, you know, I'm new in town. I really don't have much to concentrate on other than my job. You're wasting your time. Well, maybe we can think of a better way to spend some of that. I don't need my head shrunk, and I'm not interested in discussing Julie. Well, then we'll just have to think of something else to do, won't we? Can't help wondering if he's yours. I was fully prepared to put this whole thing behind me when Victor confirmed that my son was dead. But now this... This picture. DV sure has a talent for turning people inside out. Yeah. Well, whether my son is alive and DV has had him all these years, or whether he's just playing another mind game with me, it still hurts. We'll figure it out. I promise you. <laughs> you know. This plan of yours, as Victor would call it, is wacky. Wacky, wacky, wacky. You agreed to go along? I know. I can't believe I did. The thought of you consoling Lucy when her and Scott break up, it's just the thought of it. You know, if this were real life, I think I would have to jump off the nearest bridge. But it isn't real. Oh, that feels too good. You want me to stop? No. No, but I do have a warning for you. Mm. You are not allowed to do this with Lucy Co. Your hands have this way of doing things to a woman. Like what? You want me to show you? Oh, definitely. We love you, Applesauce. We, we, we love you very, very much. And, and we want you to tell Christina that, too. Every day, kiss yourself and give Christina a kiss. Okay, Mixing, eat his lettuce, and uh, oh. we miss you, and, and we'll see you later, okay? Uh, Serena, bye. Okay, say bye. Hang, hang up, Serena. You can hang we, up. It's hang okay, up. sweetie, bye. Okay, I love you, Pumpkinhead. Bye. Are we doing the right thing? I think so. Okay. Oh, I, I don't know if I can do this, you know. I sort of miss you already. I don't know how I'm going to sleep. I mean, I'm not used to sleeping without you next to me in bed. I do have that snoring problem. <laughs> yes, you do. You snore very loudly, but I sort of hypnotize myself into thinking it's a metronome, and you sort of tick me off to sleep. Well, before you go ticking off to sleep, uh, you know, there's, there's no kids in the house. Right now, we have tonight. Yeah. Mm. Kind of image. It was like this picture, and it was wasn't like that. What I saw on the tape, it was like a, a whole other thing. And oh my gosh, Scott, that that wasn't real. What you just saw, don't you see what's happening? It's like Kevin said, DV is using those psychic projection on you. Uh, Lucy, you know, phone calls that I that I imagined that didn't happen. Now, now I got these sex acts in my head with you and Bordiz. I mean, this whole thing is a little, uh, screwy now. Okay, let's, let's, let's calm down a minute. Now we know what's happening, right? We realize that DV is just trying to push all our buttons. That's what's happening here. That's what I'm gonna let him do. 
What? Well, if he is putting images in my head, if that is possible, then he'll think he's getting to us. We'll break up because of jealousy, you know? Jealousy breaks everybody up. I'm the jealous type. It'll work. <sighs> okay, then. I guess we now know how we're going to set everything into motion. This isn't exactly how I was hoping this evening would end, though. Everything is going to be fine in the end here, once we get rid of Bordiso. And that's about to happen, Lucy. <laughs>